to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game two between Gandhi and Bug. This is the losers match from BSL Chobo League season 12. Group C, bottom left hand corner, we have Gandhi starting as the orange Protoss. Upper end corner, we have Bug starting as the teal Protoss. This is on, go ahead and bring this up again. This is on Blue Storm, which I don't know why I feel like always showing off Blue Storm. Maybe it's because I love this map. Ooh, early cheese from Gandhi, potentially. Yeah, he's not building a pylon in his base. I'll chat off. So you've got that little gap right here. You've got that natural expansion, which is very wide open. And then you've got this nearby mineral only third. And I feel like the design of this map is very 2009-esque. I'll go ahead and drop vision here because we're going to see if Bug, oops, wrong vision drop there. We're going to see if Bug sees this probe coming in. So here you can see on the corner, very, very close miss, dropping a pile into that corner. And he, he does not, yeah, okay. He does not notice this probe initially inside his base. So this is certainly going to be two gate. Now the question is, is does Bug go for the Gateway Assimilator build comparatively? Otherwise, he could be in a lot of trouble. So Pylon Warping, and also is he going to check his corners? This is one thing actually, and I'm going to just sing Master Ray praises. By the way, go check out Master Ray's uh, YouTube channel. He gives a lot of helpful advice overall. And if you're looking for someone who really knows the game, like I, I know the game through commentating. He knows the game from just being good at it. So go check him out. But one thing I love... Right around this time, he always checks the corners with that probe. Always. Two gateways up. This is the moment of truth. Bug has hit 100. Does he go? It looks like he is going to open up with two gates inside his base. So it's going to be micro versus micro. A slight economic advantage is going to go to bug. Actually, it looks like it's in three probes. So it's going to be a significant economic advantage is going to go to bug. But still, it's going to come down to flat micromanagement. I like what Gandhi did. He's moved this probe inside and made it look as though it's coming from that entrance as to not rouse suspicions. And I'm almost wondering if he's going to wait for this zealot to get out of position before he engages with his own. Doing a little bit of harassment. He's actually trying to knock down some shielding. Actually, forced three probes to come off the line for bug, which actually might equalize things a little bit here. Bug's second gateway's up. Zealots are going to be pouring in momentarily. Second gateway, ooh, is silent right this second, which is really dangerous. Bug waiting for the 200 supply, but there's that first zealot moving in. Bug should know that, is, that he's being cheesed at this stage. Zealot initially working, yeah, pulling off four probes to engage from the corner. It's going to be a, way, a while before there's additional zealot support. Try to get that shield battery out. If that shield battery gets up, that can be the moment. There's re-engagement. So it's going to be micro versus micro. Bug losing some mining time, trying to drone drill, having some trouble dealing with this. This is, I don't think, a laggy situation because this is France versus Russia, comparatively. One zealot down for Gandhi. So three zealots, and I think this might be failed cheese now for Gandhi because that shield battery is up. And it is even numbers otherwise, plus the probes to provide some defense. Probes again sneaking across that line. The zealots getting drone drilled and just pulled across. Some nice defense here from Bug. Probe engaging that Zealot across the corner. But Bug still has that two probe lead. Still pressing this forward. If he can just keep this up, he still needs to keep producing those Zealots though. Another Zealot taken down. That one via battle probes. And now the numbers are not looking in Gandhi's favor at all. Four versus two. Looks like he's getting superior count doing a good job splitting on both sides. Bug Doing two zealots versus two zealots. Gandhi trying to regroup and pull these units back towards a closer defensive position. A third gateway going down. So no, now Bug needs to either get a third gateway himself. Take care of the zealots that are in his main. Or get a move on. So doing a pretty good job of defense thus far. But this could be in a minute. A turnaround. Taking two additional zealots out. The probes again getting in that fight with another nice drone drill. Bug recharging all of those shields. Now he's five zealots uncontested moving in to this gateway position. Maybe if Gandhi can hold out and just delay a little bit longer, he can even things out. But the four zealots now backing off, engaging right there. Three zealots moving in against two towards that probe line. So it is a bit of a split fight. That pylon being worked down, and that should be game. Pylon's out. Now all Bug has to do is engage these zealots, wipe them out, Pro count about even. 9 versus 10. But right now, Gandhi is not producing. That additional pylon should be wiped out. 
And it looks like Bug has done it. Nice defense. Nice defense overall. And that most certainly will be GG. Single cell plugging the gap. It looks like Gandhi going to try to recover by placing two gateways of his own. But honestly, I, and I like this. I like this play here. Actually, plug the gap, force the zealots to go the long way around. But leaving a couple zealots at his home base, I'm wondering if he's going to grab an assimilator. But here's the thing for Gandhi. He'll have it maybe two zealots at most. He's trying to get another three gateways down. He'll have two zealots at most to deal with six zealots that are going to be in his main, as long as Bug keeps them grouped. Unfortunately, it looks like two of them are remaining lagged. So four zealots still moving up. That still might be sufficient. Going ooh, initially zealot versus zealot right there. It looks like he wants to just get it done via zealots. Grabbing a forge because he's potentially worried about follow-up Dark Templar. Honestly, yeah, I think he should just engage 1v1 here. Instead, cycling out. He's positioning to go ahead and take his natural expansion. Four zealots now inside Gandhi's main. Chasing down units. Trying to pin these zealots into the corner is very likely going to be able to do so. And additional zealots starting to group up. Starting to work on that gateway. And so now it's basically a reverse situation. Except Bug with a huge advantage where he can go ahead and grab additional nexuses, do a lot of stuff. But Gandhi making a fight of it. More zealots starting to stream this direction. Gandhi vastly outnumbered. More reinforcements coming down the way. Probes pulling off the line. Some nice micro right there. Well, nice concavity is what I'll say there from Bug. Working on this gateway. And I believe it is... I think this is just about even zealot count overall. I wish I could like double click and get the overall units, but G Bug with the better concavity getting, and I think also working against weakened zealots and just having overwhelming numbers. And there's GG once again and an exit. What? That almost feels like an alt F4 uh, exit right there. But Gandhi dropping again. I'm assuming they're GGing out in chat. Bug takes game two. He's going to advance to the final match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.